Hi everybody, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back with another little um, cute treat box and I think this is so pretty and what I used for this was a nice copper DSP and it's in Melon Mambo and it's just got a couple of little black butterflies on and I just think it's lovely and if we take the ribbon off now I was going to punch a hole in the top and do it that way but then I thought oh no I'm just going to tie the ribbon round <laughs> so just ignore the little hole but it holds three little Ferrero Roches and I don't know what you call them ones the other ones Ra Raffaellos or something but anyway it holds three of them so I think it's really really nice so I'm gonna just quickly tie this up and then I'll show you how I made it and when it's made I mean you could fit all sorts in even lipsticks probably lipsticks would fit in right I'll just tie that roughly for now so it measures an inch and a half by five inches yeah an inch and a half by five inches and it is an inch and a half tall as well so an inch and a half that way five inches that way and an inch and a half tall okay right so to make it I'm making this one in basic black and I'm using Blush and Bride from the Subtles DSP stack. So your piece of card needs to measure six and a half by seven inches. Okay, and you're gonna need four little mats, two that measure one and three eighths by four and seven eighths and two that measure four and seven eighths by seven eighths of an inch wide okay and you'll need some little scraps as well for your butterflies and sentiments etc okay so we need to do a little bit of scoring first <coughs> excuse me right so on the long side which is the seven inch side if you score at one one inch and six inches okay and then turn it round to the short side, the six and a half inch side, and score at one inch, two and a half inches, four inches, and five and a half inches. All right, so that's what you should have. And then if you go to my blog, which you can click the see more in this video and there'll be a link there and then on there there'll be measurements in centimeters as well okay oh actually we're going to still need the scoring tool because we just need to pop a couple of little marks in <coughs> excuse me now you've got one two three four five you've got five boxes so you've got two little ones at the side and you've got three big ones in the middle so this middle box here and on the opposite side we're just going to find the midway point now I'm just going to eyeball it so I think it's about there and about there okay and then you just want to leave a little notch okay and a little notch there and then if you take your ruler and then from the notch to the corner 
of the little rectangle we're just going to make a diagonal line and I'll show you what it looks like when I've done it so it's kind of a triangle that we're making and the same on the other side as well Okay, so you should have that all right <clears throat> now we'll just fold and burnish these score lines Okay, so take our paper snips for this. Now we need to cut away. We've got four little squares in all four corners. Okay, if we just cut these all away. Okay, so it should look like that. And then the sides where you've got the little triangles, all we're going to do is just cut up there and cut up there. And we're going to do that on both sides, okay? So if we cut up here to the first of the score line, like that, okay? And then the other side. Okay, so you should have that, and then exactly the same on this side. There we go, and then it will fold up like this, they'll go into there to form the side and up and round. So if you turn it on the other way and if you just fold these little triangles back on the self because when it's done it's going to give you that kind of nice little shape <clears throat> okay so now we can pop our little pieces of dsp on and I'm just going to use a little bit of Tombow for that. So, there we go. I'm really into using um, basic black at the minute. I just really think it looks quite striking on some of the projects I've used it quite a lot lately so I suppose I'm a little bit addicted to it at the minute <laughs> I think it looks especially nice with um, the Melon Mambo plus it'll um, look just as nice with this Blush and Bride as well
Now obviously you don't need a piece on this bit because this is the bottom so nobody's going to see. I mean you can if you want but I'm not going to. But um, just cut three pieces, if, if three of the larger pieces if you did want a piece on the bottom. Okay, so stick the last one on. We just let that dry for a couple of minutes and while that's drying I think we'll sort out our little embellishments and stuff. Right, so we need a piece, a scrap of Whisper White and the stamp sets I'm using for these are um, Papillon Potpourri and I'm just going to use the butterfly, the larger butterfly and You're So Sweet because I think that goes obviously really nice with the little chocolate treats inside. So I've already got my stamps ready and I'm going to use Tuxedo Black for the sentiment because Obviously with the card being black, I think that'll go quite nice. So we'll have You're So Sweet there. I'm going to punch that out with the one and three quarter oval punch. Oh, well that was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? We'll have to do that again. Oh dear, never mind. I thought I'd got it right and then I moved it. Never mind. Do another one. So, stamp that there. Try again. Okay, so that's that and then taking a scrap of basic black and the larger scalloped oval or the large scalloped oval sorry and then we'll stick this on with a bit of tombow And then we'll pop a couple of dimensionals on ready. Okay, that's our little sentiment done. And the butterfly, um, I'm using the Elegant Butterfly Punch. And I'm going to punch one out in black. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is punch out, now I'm going to stamp, get another bit of scrap. So I'm going to stamp um, this butterfly in Blush and Bride as well. So stamp this one in Blush and Bride. That was just on a whisper white and then we'll punch this out because 
because I think that would actually go quite nice on the top and then if we take some of our um, basic pearls and you've got these little ones here I'm just going to snip off three of these and pop these in to the middle of the <clears throat> the pink butterfly okay there we go and then we'll just pinch the wings up a bit and if we take a little blue dot and then we can just stick this in to the middle of the black one there we go and then if we take our box and then we need to pop some tape on both of these sides here okay just a little bit of double sided tape okay so I've got the tape on the back and then we'll peel this off and get this stuck together Okay, so you're going to lift it up and then just get it as level as you can. Okay, and the same on the other side. there we go <clears throat> there's our cute little box and then if you just give it a little pinch you'll see that they go in there quite nicely and then it will overlap and it has quite a nice flush fitting top okay so if we start and get our little sentiments on so we'll put our you're so sweet which we'll pop in the left hand corner because we want the ribbon in the middle okay and then we'll get it tied up with some black ribbon
there we go and we'll just give those a little trim and then our little butterflies if we just pop a couple of little glue dots on the back if I can find me I don't know what I've done with that use me um stylus just pop a little glue dot on the back and then I'm going to pop the butterfly in this um, top left hand corner and then just pinch the little wings up a bit and there we go one gorgeous little treat box so I hope you like it and um, I'll be back on Wednesday with another oops another project then so thanks for joining me and until next time bye for now